Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Cherish. Welcome to another podcast series with Talent 500 and Answer. Today we are joined with Maria Litrushkin, who is a Group Vice President at Alvesons Companies. Maria takes care of infrastructure operations and is here to talk about, um, you know, as an engineer, what could you do better in your career and what are some things that could help you further along the way. Maria, welcome to the show. Thank you. It's an honor to be here. Maya, tell us more about um, how your early career began and what are some things uh, as a developer that I could, you know, potentially integrate into my life to have a more rewarding and thriving career. I kind of fell into retail almost by accident and I think that this has been a greatest gift that I've gotten. When I started my uh, engineering career a long time ago, if somebody would tell me that like, you would be working in retail, I would be very, very surprised and I would say why there were so many other areas and industries that I was thinking of, of working in as an engineer. And it just so happened that one of the jobs that I had was an e-commerce, building e-commerce websites. So the point of this story, I would say, is whatever comes your way when you're so early in your career, take it and learn from it. And if you don't like it, you can always move somewhere else. You're early on. Sometimes you get surprises and they become career defining surprises and you might uh, actually fall into just like I did into something that's going to shape your career mm -hmm. and that you find uh, very meaningful and gratifying. Yeah. So say more yeses than noes. Explore before you choose. More yeses and very, but don't get stuck. Like decide what look at it deliberately, thoughtfully, say yes, do it, and really evaluate if you are loving it or you're not loving it. And if you're not loving it, do something else and just continue iterating. You have time uh, and things are changing so fast. It's a really exciting time and you might be able to find so many different things. So like you rightly mentioned, things are changing too quickly. I think a lot of engineers who are just entering into the field, they're also even contemplating if it's even worth going into tech because, you know, AI is pretty good with actually problem solving and writing code. What is an average career lifespan or considering traditional ways versus now? And what could they do to make sure that the AI, you know, they're not, it's not affecting them adversely in any way? I think the most important thing that I've learned is adaptability and curiosity. And as things like now, almost all the playbooks have to be thrown out. There are things that are changing so much. Technology is changing at the speed of light. Ways of working are changing. Companies are changing. But I would say that there's always a choice to make. People either can feel threatened by it mm. and like go in their own shell, or you can look at it as an exciting challenge. And for folks that are curious and that are willing to adapt, to change and to learn new things, this is a really exciting time. And I would say that their career will have a lot of longevity because they will get the skills through these early experiences and then they can apply on and on and on further in their career. We spoke about how engineers in their early career could experiment and explore things before they choose. Inevitably, through this journey, they will encounter some challenges or some problems. Tell us what they should be you know, on the lookout for and how to navigate these. When people start out, inevitably, they will make some, you know, have some challenges, make some mistakes, fall into pitfalls of early career as a techie. Uh, so with, what are some things as a developer, some challenges that they should be aware of and some key tips on, you know, how they can navigate these, uh, maybe borrowing from your own personal experience. I'd say that the things that help me the most would be A, you have to persevere. Nothing is really the end of the world. Even if it feels like the end of the world in the moment, believe me, it's not. And and I would say that, but you also have to learn from it. You can't be continuously making the same mistake and expect mm -hmm. different results, right? So being introspective and trying to figure out, and as engineers, we are learned, we are taught to investigate. We are taught to really look for the root cause of things. And we are taught to make things better and to iterate. And so I would say that applying the same principles to anything that happens throughout your career is probably the most practical thing or at least the thing that worked for me Thanks. and next time you'll get a chance to do better yes the best thing you can do for yourselves when you're starting out early in your career and certainly the things that helped me when I was starting out is to find a place that's transforming that's going through change where you're gonna be able to play 
uh, different roles, wear different hats and evolve with the company. And maybe you'll start with something small and then you're able to see it at scale and you know you can uh, eventually lead it. These probably gonna be the parts that are gonna be most influential for your career, uh, for your growth as a leader, for your growth as a technologist. Uh, so finding a place that is investing, that's transforming, where there's different opportunities. And when you do, you have to take risks. So I'd say, you know, I had, I was very lucky early in my career to find a company like this. I think that if you were to joining Albertsons, you would find that this is a fantastic opportunity to try different things, to play with different technologies and to be part of transformation and part of building something really great that's gonna be potentially career defining for you. Thanks, Maya. That was extremely insightful. Um, thank you for all your time and patience and of course, the insights that you bestowed on us. Thank you for having me. That's great. Thank you. Folks, for people looking to apply at Albison's, um, please apply through the link here in the description.